Hey, yo, what is up, Twitch world? Let's make sure everything's showing up here. It looks like it is. Woo! What is up? Here we go. Right, we'll be a little dark now. It's going to get a little bright. All right, here it is. All right, so we are jumping into Marvel Snap today. If you haven't seen Marvel Snap, if you don't know what the deal is, this is a uh, trading card game, but a totally different one. Very different from anything I've played. Um, basically, you only get 10 cards in a deck. And there's a lot of RNG involved because there's three random locations that you don't control and they can be anything. So pretty exciting stuff. But uh, we're going to jump right in. There's a new season, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, but right now, do I have new missions yet? Missions refill in an hour and six minutes. So right around our first break, we'll get new missions. Otherwise, I've done all the missions for today. And it looks like we'll have a few of these missions as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, you got to do missions because that's the only way to get new cards. You can't outright buy new cards. There's no booster packs. There's no nothing. You got to deal with what's there and you got to earn it. So it's pretty ridiculous in that aspect. But um, it's interesting in a way, too. Uh, the way you do that is that you get boosters. And when you spend boosters and credits you upgrade cards like i have all these lovely cards with green arrows Ooh, and if you upgrade them you earn more free shit basically that's the story Whoop. that's the way it goes um right now also as you spend more credits on cards like ooh, kzar is gonna be a big one i can spend 500 credits but i'm gonna gain 10 levels when i upgrade this man 10 that's pretty huge. But uh, no upgrades yet. I think uh, maybe we'll, we'll do some upgrades. That's pretty good. Ten. I don't think I have anybody who's higher than him that I can uh, upgrade yet. Uh... No, Squirrel Girl's up there, too. I think she's going to be another 500. Maybe I'll save my money till I can do them both at the same time. That'd be sick to jump up 20 levels. Whoa. Yeah, I think we might do that. But uh, what is deck six? What is this that I made? Oh, this is just a crap deck. We'll talk about that when we get missions, what crap decks are. But let's start off here. We got nothing else to do but to play and get some wins. So let's start with... I've actually been having... I made this discard deck. I don't... It's not that good. I don't have all the cards I need for discard yet. Um, discard is a really weird way to play this game. It's a lot of fun. But a lot of Marvel Snap is getting, like, the biggest number you can to win the location. Discard, at least my discard deck... Oh, Shadowland. These friggin' Minus 2 Ninjas are the worst. Discard deck, as far as my discard deck is concerned, I just try to get away with shady shit and have a good time. Um, so here, here's the perfect example. Hobgoblin, I love. Um, I love playing this card to screw people over. But I made this deck where Blade discards something at random. If I discard Apocalypse, it's great. Plus four power to Apocalypse, awesome. If I discard Swarm, I get two copies of him that cost zero. Awesome. If I discard Hobgoblin, is that the worst thing in the world? No, this is a very specific card that can totally screw you over. I just like to play with it. So... If I lose the one out of three, I'm not that upset. We discarded Swarm. Great, great luck there. Now we got two copies of it that cost zero. Awesome. Oh, Starlight Citadel. That means that these are going to swap places. As of right now, I don't care if these two move. The third one is still a mystery. Electra. Electra is an extremely important card as far as I'm concerned. She's in probably every deck I have. This card can literally win you the game on turn six. There are so many one-cost cards that are extremely important setups, and she kills them all. It's phenomenal. For now, we're just going to hold on to her. Bucky Barnes, so they're playing a destroy deck, which really sucks because they're going to be able to get rid of this minus two ninja. When Bucky dies, Winter Soldier comes in. He's like six or seven points. Not good for us. Uh, Nothing good. Shang-Chi is a really great addition to the deck when somebody is playing big cards because you can destroy them for me. Another huge swing on turn six. But uh, right now, nothing really going on. Big house, cards that cost four, five, and six can't be played here. That might be an easy win later on with the swarms. But believe it or not, I'm still just going to hold. Hold. 
The really funny part about this is I think I'm going to try to play Hobgoblin here and win this location with a minus two ninja. Like I said, I like to screw around. Um, so this is another one. Swordmaster discards a card at random. Um, I got three cards I wouldn't mind getting discarded and three cards that I would be upset if I discarded. So let's see where I win with this 50-50. Uh, this is actually... Eh, do I want to play him there? Yeah, I think, I think we'll play him in the middle, actually. You have to return the card to your hand before you move places with it. I wish it worked easier than that. Oh, we played two cards there. So he plans on killing Nova as well, and he didn't want the lands to swap, which is weird, but okay. Discarded Apocalypse, perfect discard. He's now stronger. Will he be my definite play on turn six? I'm not 100% sure. Um, so here's the play. Like I said, I wanted to nail this Hobgoblin play. I think we go for it here and lock this up. He already has two cards here. Um, my dream play here is that he plays one more card here and we lock that up and it would be amazing to like kind of block this spot because you can only have four cards in the space. Let's see what he ends up with here. But I think that's all we're going to do. Do I want to play some of these free guys now? Um, I don't need to play them now. I'd rather see how everything plays out. There it is. So minus eight there. Oh, he played his own Hobgoblin. Nice. Okay. So now he played his own Hobgoblin. So we're kind of screwed here. He is only kind of screwed because he may have destroy cards that destroy that. And it actually buffs him. He's played nothing at Big House. And that's where we're at. Um, Nova is specifically destroy this and give plus one power to everything. So he's got to destroy this. So he plans on winning this area and destroying these. Uh, I think the play is go big with Apocalypse here, and we play our freebies here. We're going to lose the center, but we should win left and right, and two out of three is a win. Let's see what happens. He went center hard. Carnage kills everything. All right, here's the buffs here. He's at six, but there's no way that he beats. He doesn't beat me. We got it. Two out of three. Boom, math. That's what I'm talking about, that kid Joe, right there. That's a win. Good way to start off the stream. So that's a perfect example of, like, as much as I love Hobgoblin, even if you give somebody a Hobgoblin, it doesn't mean that the match is over. It's only one location. Easy peasy. Couldn't have said it better myself there, that kid. Let's go again. We'll keep the discard going. I think the format we'll use is I won't change decks unless I, I lose. And then we'll go from there with some switching. Maybe build the deck after we do the missions in an hour. Oh, Sakar. All right. Sakar is most of the time your worst nightmare. You know, buckle the shoe. You got to do it. So Sakar puts a card from your hand into play right away. So Shang-Chi is a setup card. I didn't want to play this guy now, but he's out. I can't do anything about it. Moon Girl is great for him. He just doubled his hand size, so this might be a loss straight up. We will keep going, but uh, this is we're going to talk about the second most... The, actually, the most important thing in Marvel Snap is retreating. You don't think you're going to win? Don't lose more cubes. Just retreat. You, got, you get games in seconds with this thing, all right? A billion people across the planet are playing. The, the servers aren't empty. If you're not going to win, get another match. You don't need to fucking be here. That's the way it goes. But right now, we're going to play Scorpion. This is going to lower his hands here. How do you earn cubes? You got to win, bro. This is the other crazy thing about this game. You can actually click on this, and I will double the cubes we're playing for. This guy retreated. I, I don't know what that was about. Maybe he's a fan of the stream, and he didn't like the way it was going, so he left. Uh, when we get to one, we're like, I don't, I try not to gamble and be like, yo, I'm going to go double cubes right away because I, listen, I don't always, I'm not always the most confident. I'm not like, oh, this is an easy win, you know? Um, sometimes people use it to bluff because they think you'll, you'll retreat because they're like, oh man, I definitely got the win. You never know. New York on turn six, you can move cards to this location. All right. Doing nothing. Turn one. No problem. No problem. 
Bam, bam. Nightcrawler is a good turn one for anybody. He can move to any location once, so that's pretty cool. Oh, this spot is crazy. All right, so Nexus is a big one. This is a fucking powerhouse location. Your power here is granted to all other locations. Ridiculous. So right away, Scorpion makes his cards weaker. We're going to play it. We're going to play it right there. We're going to weaken everything up. My favorite card to play here is Hobgoblin. Because it actually makes them give minus eight to all their locations. Ridiculous. Hobgoblin's not in hand yet, but if he is, we're playing him there for sure. Cards can't be destroyed here. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, Morbius is a pretty good one. He's an interesting card. He gets power every time you discard a card. So basically the play here would be to play him. Next turn, play Swordmaster. He'll discard something, you know, yada, yada, yada. He gets bigger and bigger. We're all cool, right? So uh, for right now, he's not going to get that big because I don't have a lot of discard in my hand. So we're just going to throw him on Wakanda. And Agent 13 actually gives me a random card. So she could give me something freaking amazing. We'll see what happens. Y'all, I'm Morbin, bro. I'm Morbin all over the place. This man's playing a discard deck as well because Sif is a discard card. Ooh, the Brood. What is this? Add two Broodlings to this location with the same power. So basically, you get three cards out of this. And this is something you want to buff while it's in your hand. We don't have any hand buffing stuff. Uh, so we're still going to go with the discard. Swordmaster is big as hell. He's six power. Um, we got 50-50. There's two cards we want to discard. Let's see if we get them. White Queen is going to copy a card in my hand. Oh, we discarded the Brood. That's okay. Didn't really care. There's Morbius with his plus two from that card discard. And we got Hobgoblin, baby. So here is the next gamble with playing Hobgoblin. If I play this, you're only allowed to have four cards at the location. You see how my opponent has two cards in the center? If they play two cards right now, Hobgoblin won't switch sides because there's no space. And then I'm fucked and I'm stuck with him. It's a big gamble right now with him having half the board full, but I'm feeling it. So much that I'm going to snap for double the cubes. Let's go. Let's go. Snap. That's how. You, that's what the snap is, that kid, Joe. There it is. Mm, he only played one. Here we go. Minus eight, baby. And you saw all the other locations go down? Now, Devil Dinosaur is a huge card. That is 11 power. But since I put Hobgoblin there, it is not doing as much as he would want to everywhere else. So that's a huge play right there. So now we're on final turn. We got a few different things we can do here. Remember, he can also move things as well, including Hobgoblin to New York. But if he moves things, he's still gonna lose he's still gonna lose in those locations. So here's the thought, right? He's probably gonna move Hobgoblin to New York. So I can win New York easy with something. Let's see what I can win it with. I only have so many cards to play. You know what? New York might fuck me. I don't know if there's a way out of this because of New York. I don't want to lose eight cubes either. So here's the thing. Shang-Chi can kill big things. He's going to kill that devil dinosaur for us. Swordmaster still going to move to New York. And we're going to play Swarm here as well for a little bit of extra power. Right? No, actually, shit. I don't need him to move. Oh, I don't have the time. No, I don't have the time. We're going to end it. All right. Here we go. We killed the dinosaur here. What did he play? Oh, he copied Apocalypse from me. Dinosaur is dead. It's a big hit. Swarm gives us some more power. Ah, we still lost it. Not enough. Not enough. Good round, though. Good round. Good round. I didn't think that he had the Apocalypse copied. That was a big copy for him. That was the White Queen gave him the random card that was in my hand. It's all right. But we did say we mix it up, so now we're going to go to the Little Deck. Little Deck is a lot of fun to play. A lot of turn one cards. Not turn one, one cost, I should say. 
<laughs> this guy, this guy's a gambler. This man snapped me on first turn. Nukem, this is your new addiction. This game is amazing, by the way. Love this game. So first turn here, we're playing the little deck. We're playing the weenie deck. One cost creatures, we're doing nothing first turn. So Marvel Snap, trading card game. 10 card decks, matches are fast as hell. There are three locations revealed one at a time. Locations have crazy abilities. Cards, crazy abilities. Weenie Hut Jr. is the place of kings because I just got one of the cards I needed. This is a huge one. Mm. Excuse me. So we're going to play Angela here. Angela has the ability when you play a card where she is, she gets plus two power. End the turn. You, the goal of the game is to win the location by having the most power there. You got your mana, cards have cost. The other hook of the game, besides the locations doing crazy shit, like this one after turn three blows up a location, but also after turn three, I'll be shuffling my cards. And this location, cards with the highest power get plus three power, Pff, right? Everything's going on. You can also gamble. So if you click this cube, I'm going to go from playing for two cubes to double the amount. And each round, that amount grows as well. That's your experience. This is your rank. The more cubes you have. We're not going to gamble just yet. Um, I don't have a great three cost card or a th turn three card. We're going to play Korg. It puts a worthless rock in his deck. So we're going to go with some mind games. All right, taking the shuffle from the land. That's the three costs I would have wanted. I would have wanted Bishop. We got him now, though. That's cool. Bishop is another very powerful card. Uh, when you play a card, he gains one power. Pretty damn good. Uh, the one over here he played, he gave the two leftmost cards in his hand plus two power. And Electra destroys a one cost card. Electra is amazing. She's in all of my decks. This card can absolutely win you a match. Um, but once again, we're saving everything for the end. The whole point of this deck is at the end, you just drop everything and you just hopefully catch him off guard. He just fucked me with these two cards, though. Um, these are if your opponent played a card here, they gain power. So he actually called it right that I played a card there and he gained power with both of these. That's pretty devastating. Um, I'm supposed to have a really crucial card right now for turn five, but I do not. We're actually still going to do nothing here. So pretty crazy, but we're going to see what happens here. White Tiger. So she sends a seven co power card somewhere. This came too late. We are relying only on our cards here for the most part. But believe it or not, I think we have a pretty decent win here. Um, what we're going to do, Electra is going to kill Rocket for us. And then... Uh, do I want to play Ant-Man there? I think we play Ant-Man over here. Ant-Man gains power when there's actually four characters in the spot. We're going to play Ant-Man there, Uatu there, and Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl puts a squirrel in each location, so she's going to throw a squirrel here and a squirrel here. We want to win these two. I think we got a pretty decent chance at it. I think he's going to play something here. What he might play is uh, Odin, who has a lot of power and is going to make all of these trigger again. Hopefully, we do not see Odin. Played on the left. Black Panther doubles his power to eight. I think we got that taken care of over here, actually. We got this. Bishop's going to keep powering up, so we're going to win the middle. Now we just got to get over 10 over here. This is, this is an easy win. The math gets it. That's it. So even though for three, I think three or four turns, I did nothing. I had the right cards. We played the right areas. We got the locations. Easy win. Done job. Piece of cake. Yep, and we got four cubes there. And that's because he snapped. Um, honestly, I wasn't sure if we were going to win that. I was missing a lot of key cards there. But 
he it's the way he played it and we made sure to get it big enough we're good good to go let's go again gonna keep it going and that's how quick games are i don't know i don't know how fast that was that was probably like three or four minutes but they're, they're quick the rng of having the center like this is awesome yondu is another must-have card so you rank up the cards and that's how you unlock things they just get prettier though the cards don't change what they do um removes the top card of your opponent's deck this card can literally ruin someone's day it will ruin the whole game i've had people forfeit immediately it's a lot of the time you build the deck around a card and i could destroy that card right now his most important card wolverine probably not that important but he's probably pissed that he lost it it's gone now oh sokovia that's a hurtful one everybody has to discard a card I think he lost a way more important card than me, and he's playing a discard deck, so that probably really hurt him that it discarded the wrong card. Um, Ant-Man is fucking clutch. We saw how good he was last game, but I didn't lose Angela, and I didn't lose Blue Marvel, and Blue Marvel's phenomenal. We'll look at him once I hit end turn here. Your other cards have plus one power. Pretty damn strong, especially in this deck where I'm playing a lot of cards at the end. So here, I wish we had Bishop. We don't, we sit on this one. One of each card in the deck, that's it. I wish you could have multiple. Even if it was just like two of each, that'd be pretty sick. But nope, only one. All right. So Bucky remembers a card he wants to destroy. He's pretty much locking everything up over here and i'm fine with that dude you take that area you go for it that's fine um normally i wouldn't play something right now but i feel like i want to put a rock in his deck only because it may mess up his draw and he may draw the rock that's worth nothing so we're gonna play this real quick enchantress doesn't mean anything to me she stops ongoing abilities she would really fuck up this guy, but I'm just going to make sure to play him over here and we'll be fine. Lame not installing. It, it, there, trust me, there's plenty of cards. There's a ton of stuff you'll want to put in the deck. This is another tight one, though. I'm not getting like the this is a game winning card type of stuff right now. So, all right, he's going to lock. One of these is going to be Nova and then Carnage. I'm calling it now. Nova, Carnage. I play this game a lot, right? So, yeah. So, right there, he just gave plus one, plus one to everything on his board and got the Winter Soldier. You can have Big House, bro. You earned it. Good job. So, final turn. We got our four cards. We have Electra again, which, like I said, is a fucking crucial card. Um, here it is. Like, and look, he just snapped. So do I think I'm going to win? I'm in a pretty good spot. He probably has Apocalypse in his hand, which is eight cost. He never eight power. Um, he could have the Hulk, which is 12. And that would actually worry me a lot. Um, but we can use Electra here. Kill Angel. He's down three power off the bat. Um, and then we'll throw Nightcrawler over there and Squirrel Girl and Watu here to fill the board. She's going to get plus four because we're playing two cards there. Do I think it's enough to win that I'm going to snap? I don't know. He's got to be playing some big cards. The question is, does he play one big card or two or three good cards? Um, he's probably going to play a Sabretooth. That's decent power. I don't think he's running Chang chi I think we got him. Uh, I'm going to go with confidence here. Let's see what happens. Let's call his bluff. We're going for all eight cubes, baby. One card. All right. We got the right one. What's in the left? What's going to be in Sokovia, man? Is it is it Apocalypse for eight power? Is that what he's relying on? Oh, 
that's what it was, and it's not enough, baby! Mm, yeah! Fucking called it, man. Knew it. Whew. Damn, I played this game a lot. It's only been out for like two weeks. Oh, man, that's funny stuff. I fucking knew it, man. Apocalypse is not enough. Should have had better cards, kid. See you later. Whew. Eight cubes. Yeah, I play this game a lot. Not that old. All right, Hell's Kitchen. Everybody draws a one cost card. That uh, one cost card. Great for us because we're playing a one cost deck. All right, nothing. Turn one. Turn one. Quiet. Let them make the moves. All right, another destroy deck. That's what we're looking at because Nova. It's the only reason you play this card. When he's destroyed, he buffs people. That's it. So. If I had one more mana, I probably would play Electra early. And I normally don't. The reason why I would here, and I'm not going to, because it's way too important to play Angela. I'm going to play Angela right now. That's how important it is. But in most of the time, I'd play Electra and blow this up early because they're going to blow it up later and try to buff everything. But I have to play Angela now. She needs to get out there. So I can play cards with her and everything like that. As a matter of fact, what I might do, I may put her there. And then if we don't draw Bishop, then I'll kill Nova next turn. Yeah, this is easy. I, I hate to give Morbius one power, but we're going to kill him right now. Oh, shit. Random cards. Uh, ooh, she could buff those two for me. Now nah, stick with the plan. Stick with the plan. We're going to kill that Nova before it can help out more people. We don't want him helping out anyone, so we're going to kill it. And that's going to ruin his whole plan. He won't be able to play his Carnage. His Carnage won't be able to get plus two, yada, 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 all that stuff. We're going to boost Morbius and maybe even boost the other card he plays, but that's fine. All right, now we know he's running Apocalypse, who now has 12 power. And we pump up two cards. I'm not excited about pumping up those two, but it's way better than what he might have done at the at later on. What the fuck does Black Cat do? If this is in your hand at the end of your turn, discard it. Okay, well, I don't want to discard it. It's really good it's three for six but i also don't know what to do with this freaking card uh bu -bu 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 i guess we'll play her here yeah it doesn't seem like a bad play very interesting card all right so he's gonna have three two costs there blade got rid of a good card for him but pumped up his morbius so this is probably the three broods over here. These guys, this is probably a setup for Carnage. And he's going to get Carnage the plus six because he's going to destroy three things. Um, We got this way too late, unfortunately. Blue Marvel is the play here. And we're going to play him over here. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Yeah, and that's going to lock it up for us, I think. Yeah. But I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts. He plays Carnage here for sure. Whoa! To go my dollars to donuts. I guess he wants to lock up everything. This is curious. Yo, it's what up, Flood Zone? Thank you for the subscription, bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. Subscriber Prime. Thank you. What's up, my man? I hope you're enjoying the stream. If you just got on, enjoy it from here on out, man. Doing a lot of thinking. Oh, man. Last turn. All right. So he's going to pump Carnage. Carnage is going to be eight total. Or he's just going to drop a uh, fucking uh, Apocalypse, who's 12. Where is he going to drop Apocalypse, right? Does he try to win it with this? 12, 14, 16, 18. It's big. That's big, bro. He's going to put something here. He's not going to rely on just the brood. No way. Do this, and then I got one more mana. We'll do this, and that'll give us a squirrel everywhere. That's the gamble we're taking. And uh, you know what? Let's 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 snap it. 
Let's snap it. I feel good about this. We're going to get the board full. Blue Marvel and Kazar are going to pump all my one cost. I feel good. I feel good. Even that little squirrel that's going to come out. You'll see the squirrel. Don't worry. You'll see him. All right, here we go. One card. There it is. The Apocalypse. Am I going to have enough? Kazar pumps. Squirrel. Squirrel. No, nah, it's not enough. We're short. Damn. We won the left. No, nah, that was the gamble. I thought he was going to throw Apocalypse on the left, and we would have had enough to cover it if it was the left. All right. All right. Decent game. Decent game. Bum, 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 bum. All right. But we said if we lose, we're going to switch decks, right? So that's it for the one cost deck for now. Now we get to go to. Oh, this is this is probably my favorite deck. This is the move deck. And I said it's my favorite, so now I'm probably going to lose with it. Oh, rough hand. Rough hand to start. Ooh. And on turn five, cards cost one more. We'll we'll take care of that. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Nightcrawler, always a good play. He can move around. Sick Hawkeye. So now I know he's going to play something here because Hawkeye will get plus two power for playing something there. Ooh, this is super bad luck for him. Cards played here have 25% chance to be destroyed. Yikes. Good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. Huh? Oh, what a play by him. Colossus can't be destroyed. What a play. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Oh. Okay. So here's what just happened. I'm going to explain the whole thing for you real quick. Sokovia makes you discard a card, right? I was going to use Rhino to destroy this place so I could play Hobgoblin on turn five. I had it all planned out. But now Rhino is gone. Nothing has gone our way this game. We are retreating. We're going to lose one cube. We're going to quit the game. It's perfectly fine. Because that was horrible luck from the start. No thank you. Take your cube, bro. I'm playing the move deck again. That doesn't count as a loss. But that was a rough one. And I'm not doing the mental gymnastics to just try and win that. It's not happening. Uh, again, Mindscape at the start of turn six, swap hands. I don't even want to play the game at that point. But I think we're going to continue with this just to see a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Let's see what else we got here. Bifrost. Bifrost is good for my deck. We got a move deck. I, unfortunately, I'm not playing any cards, apparently. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to. Um, we're going to play Iron Fist here. Next turn, we're going to play Vulture. Punch him over. He's going to grow in power. Because Vulture's thing is when the card moves, plus five power. Sunspot, he's a little bitch. The end of each turn, gain plus one power for unspent energy. What a bitch. Vulture. Whoa. Come on, Vulture. Get out there. Oh, my God. Why are cards fucking me today? All right. So that is the Sanctum Santorum. Sanctorum. Which means cards can't be played here. Wow. So now... Sunspot is safe because I can never touch him over there if I pull Electra or anything. Um, but we can still play Vulture. He's going to get kicked over here, and he's still going to get the power. Game is, game is pulling out all the stops for me right now. That's a lot of the fun in this game, though. Oh, my God. This stuff now? All right. All right. So Bifrost is going to negate that, which is the funny thing. It's going to negate a lot of things right now. Um, and we're actually going to mess up Storm right now, so this will be really fun. Um, but he planned on playing Storm, and he's like, hey, I'm going to lock up this spot, and nobody will ever beat me because I locked it up. Spoilers, bro. Rhino actually destroys the location. So we're going to put Rhino here, and he's going to destroy the flooding. And then the Bifrost is going to move all of us. Actually, maybe I don't want to do so I'm the only one with cards that can move. And we're all going to get moved away from the flooding. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to play Yondu and Hulkbuster armor here. 
buff up all of this because they're all going to go to the right to the Sanctum. And we're going to see if they can beat Sunspot. He, he's going to play stuff here too, though. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Wow, why is this guy not playing things? Oh, I killed this Electra. Good. See you later, Electra. Good times. I can't believe he didn't play something in the middle. I'm very anxious to see what he played on the left here. Jubilee. Jubilee pulls a random card out of your deck. Let's see what he pulls. Morph. Wow, that's a great fucking pull. He's getting all sorts of shit right now. So he stole my Heimdall, which moves everybody to the left. And now the Bifrost moved everybody to the right. That is some crazy shit. I, I can't even believe it just happened. That's what this game does. There's some crazy shit that can happen for sure. He randomly got Morph, randomly got Heimdall, randomly, excuse me, moved everything. So here's the other thing. And this is why I said, oh shit, it's going to be fucking really ridiculous. This is flooded now. Nobody, cards can't be played here. Let me zoom in. Cards can't be played here. Cards can't be played here. All we have is the middle, right? Now, I can't play my favorite Hobgoblin because he's going to play something here. He might not. Maybe he doesn't have, I don't, how many cards does he have in hand? He has five cards in hand. All right, he's got something he could play there. Um, I'm going to go for Rhino, I guess. It doesn't matter if I destroy this. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go for multiple man. I can go for both. Why the fuck not? I'm going to go for both. And then we're going to throw Heimdall here and move everything. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens in this turn. Let's check it out. Oh, my God. He played nothing. I would have never guessed in a million years that guy would have played nothing. Oh, he wanted to buff Sunspot. So here's the other thing. There's also a very important card you need to know about, and we might see it here. You got to know all the angles. It's a card called the Infinaut. As long as you play nothing on turn five, you can play this card on turn six. And it has 20 power. So here's the thing. I know if he has that card, he's going to play it here because he can't play it anywhere else. So if I shift all of this stuff to here, Heimdall will stay here. And these will move here. We'll lose this, but we'll win this. But we'll also lose this. So I'm at a fucking loss. I don't know what to do. Storm's not a one cost. I don't know. Because if he drops 20, there's no way I can beat it. If he has infinite, I can't beat it. I'm going to bet on him not having it. Fuck it. He doesn't have it. You don't have it. I'll even, I'll even snap. You don't have it. You don't have it. Show me it. Show me the nuts if you got it. You ain't got him. Don't show me that orange globe head motherfucker. He ain't there. You ain't got him. Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. If it's him. Come on. You got him? Do you got him? Oh, he had him. You son of a damn jerk. He had him. Ah, he had him. Ah, I should have played Hobgoblin on turn five. Ah. That's all right. Damn, man. I knew it. It was the only thing that could beat me. It was the only thing. No other card could beat me there. Infinite. Unbelievable. Mini lab is tough. Turns three, four, and five. You can't play anything there. My man threw something down right away. Woo! This is another tough one with the locations. You can't play cards here after turn four. Damn! Come on, man. Give me a break. So we're going to play Iron Fist. Next turn, we'll play multiple man, and there'll be multiple man here and here. Because when multiple man moves, he leaves a copy behind. Mr. Sinister makes a copy of himself. Not bad, not bad. So even though... Oh, wait, no cards can be added here. And Sanctum Sanctorum, Sanctorum again? What? is this oh my god 
I can't even, I can't even handle. We're just retreating. We're just retreating. I don't even want to play. I don't even want to play that anymore. I'm done. Take it, bro. Take my cube. I'll pay a cube to leave. I called the Uber with that cube. See you later. Unbelievable. Get the Uber over here. Do I want to switch decks? Uh, no, nah, I don't want to switch decks. Baby Dino. Oh, high cost stuff again. Bruh. Bruh. Luke's bar. When you play a card here, return it to your hand. And I'm not allowed to play cards today. This guy, me and this guy are on the same page. Nightcrawlers. Nightcrawler can move there, so that's good. Cards here, minus one power. All right, we're not doing anything there. We got Electra for sneaky stuff. If we play it, we could try to kill Nightcrawler, but he might move Nightcrawler, so we're going to wait. All right, nobody did anything. That's fine. That's fine. Two Raptors at the location. Dinosaurs. Here we go. Um, hmm. The tough one. Let's play Craven in the middle. It's minus one power, but Heimdall's going to move him sooner or later, so I'm okay with it. Excuse me. Later, obviously. Cool move, Mr. Fantastic. He gives plus two to adjacent locations, so he's definitely a middle guy. Nice move. He's winning Luke's bar right now because of that. Smart stuff. Smart stuff. Um, but -bum 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 -bum. So now we're at the point where I'm going to use Electra because next turn I only have five energy and I'm going to play Hobgoblin next turn somewhere. And then turn six, I'm playing Heimdall who costs six. So if I'm going to use Electra, it's going to be now. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to buff Craven. Hulkbuster merges with a card at the location. So it's going to be Craven. And that's all I'm going to do there. And we're just going to play this here. Um, she's going to kill something. It may be Nightcrawler or it may be one of the Raptors because they each have one power. I mean, uh, one cost. Uh, so she'll get some value no matter what. Is it earth shattering crazy? Matt told me this card wins the game. No, but it's something. Now I feel a little bit better about it because she just buffed all those cards. And we're going to kill one of them. That's pretty awesome. So we made a really good call there. Quip. Oh, and it hit Nightcrawler. Ooh, the only one he could have moved and hit it. Ow. That is bad luck right there, man. Oh. So now we're going to try a really, really nasty move. I'm going to move Nightcrawler in the middle. He's going to buff Craven, And now I want to throw the Goblin here. If he plays two cards here, I am screwed. I don't think he's going to. We're going to snap it up even. I think he's going to play one card here. One card. And we're going to freaking ruin his day by locking up the spot. Let's go. Ooh, they snapped back. Ooh, my heart. My heart just started beating a little faster. A little faster right there with that. The back snap, when you get snapped back. Ooh, all right. He didn't play anything there. Oh! Oh, he has his own hobgoblin. Okay, bro. Okay. Game recognized game, granddad. I see you. I see you. That's fine, though. That's fine. Because we are going to do... So right now, we're winning this with just three. Okay? I don't think this guy has anything huge or fantastic in his deck. Even if I slide this over here, Raven's going to get plus two from each of these. And Nightcrawler is going to gain one power back from not being stuck in the sewer. My only concern is, do I think this guy has nothing to play here and I could definitely win this location? Because I win. I'm going to win Luke's bar. I, I'm going to win it. I'm, I feel rather confident in the friggin' math because he's going to get plus four because each one of these is going to move with him. So he's going to be at 11. This will be at two. So that's 13. 13 minus 8. It's only minus 9 now because of where we are is 5. We'll be over 2. 
If he plays Onslaught, it will double Fantastic, but that's only to four. So that's not enough. I think we lock up Savage Land. He can't have something big enough to overwhelm Hobgoblin. And that's the win. Let's go. He went middle. Black Panther will double it. I don't care. You can go ahead and win the sewers. There it is. Simple math, baby. You live in the sewers. I'll go to the bar into Savage Land and take the win. See you later, bro. See you later. Black Panther trying to pull it off. This is the new card for the season, by the way. On reveal, double this card's power. Pretty damn good card, but he ain't winning. He ain't got the win. We got the win. Woo! Let's go again. Let's go again. All right, we got some ads coming in in 16 minutes. I'm going to turn on some music. We'll let the ads run, and then we're going to make a new deck after that. Oh, shit, I should have some missions right now, right? Do I have missions yet? Or are missions at 10? I don't know when the missions are. Uh, turn one, we'll throw out Nightcrawler. That's about it. Oh, I got a copy of a card, and it was Heimdall? Oh, so this person's running a move deck as well, and I just got the most important card in, their, in the deck. That's pretty crazy. Little, little, uh, not gonna lie, a little intimidated by somebody playing the same type of deck because, uh, they could know the right moves. It's gonna get a little interesting. We're gonna use Scorpion to weaken. We're gonna weaken this guy's cards. Little, little, pss, you know? Little, oh my god, this guy had Scorpion. Did he copy my Scorpion? Or did he have his own Scorpion? I can't tell. Me and this guy, it, and he even played on the same location. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Yup, right there, bro. I'm right there with you. Where is it? What is going on, man? All right. So here, uh, do I have Hulkbuster? I don't. Um, that means I can't power up multiple man right now, but I need to get Craven in the right spot. So let's do that. And then we'll throw out Iron Fist and then we'll play multiple man next turn. Is my man playing some Destroy with Heimdall? Is that what I'm seeing right now? Is that what this guy's playing? Ooh, is it better to hit the Vulture over? Vulture's gonna be stronger. I think I need to go with the stronger card here because this is gonna be a really big uh, problem moving forward. The other thing we can do, why try and kill that Nova? before the other guy does it and gets a bonus for it. I say no. We might need Electra for something else. We might. Okay. So he's definitely 100% playing a card there. There's no way he doesn't play a card there. I will bet a lot of money, but nobody bet with me, please, because I don't want to lose any money, but I don't think I'm going to lose anything. Um, the real question is, where is he going to play other cards? I'm going to go. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go mid. We're going to throw Hobgoblin at him mid and see what happens. Yep. He's definitely playing Carnage at Daily Bugle. 100%. Carnage or Deathlock. Damn, three cards. Damn! Electra kills my Nightcrawler. Fair. Good shit. Good shit. Iceman fucks up one of my cards. Understood. There's Carnage. So all that stuff's getting buffed. Um, I did hurt him here, though. And I don't think he's going to have anything that big. Oh, well... He does have Sabretooth becomes free when he dies, and you get to play him for free. So he has four power he can put here. Ah, that's pretty good. Heimdall's not moving a ton. He's actually might not be my best play here. Uh, my best play might be something sneaky. He thinks I'm locked in the Daily Bugle. 
Doctor Strange moves my highest power card to where I play him. So we're going to try to do a rope-a-dope here. Doctor Strange pulls Vulture, right? Then Elektra kills Iceman. And we have multiple man for a little bit more power. <sighs> These things are weak as hell, though, man. I'm looking to win this with, like, almost nothing. But I really think he's going to pay attention to the bugle. He thinks he thinks I'm playing Heimdall. He thinks I am, but I'm not. He, that's exactly what he's thinking. He thinks I'm going to push everything to the left, but I'm not. Let's go. Oh, we played two cards over here. We got a beat, though. We got... Oh, that went off before I moved him? I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate it. We still got the move. He didn't play anything middle. We won it. We fucking won it, baby! Yeah! Woo! So I'm talking about... Mmm. There it is. The old rope and dope You see how he played her there? You see how yeah. big this card is? Yeah! You see how big this card is? It's a huge card. Minus one power to all cards there. He thought I was definitely going there. Nah, I'm not going there. I'm over here. Look at this old man. He knew it. Look at him. He knew the move. Yes. It's a win. Let's go. Let's go again. Old man knew where to go. Old man Vulture. He was like, Matt, Matt, move to the right. It's me, Vulture. I don't know Vulture's voice. I guess it would be Michael Keaton from the movie, but I can't do a Michael Keaton. Nobody can. This is almost an automatic retreat for me. When a card moves here, destroy it. I now have to play around this location super fucking hard. Um, I can destroy it with Rhino. I probably will, depending on how the game goes. This man put a card down right away. This is Nightcrawler. Have you seen him? I'm going to put him right here. Oh, another. This is actually pretty good because we could still move cards here. The kiln is not a game breaker for me. This is a cool variant art, by the way. End turn. We're not doing anything for a while. It's kind of rough. A little, uh, little rough. I'd love to get a multiple man. Damn, look at this guy's variants. That's a fucking cool variant, man. This guy's spending money. Whoa, Oscorp. Jesus. I got my multiple man, though, so I'll take it. You can't play cards here after turn four. Okay. There's a lot of stuff happening, man. So I have to think like eight steps ahead right now. I can play multiple man here. Next turn, put Hulkbuster on it. Rhino kills Fisk Tower after that. And then Heimdall moves Multiple Man, who's buffed. I don't get to play Hobgoblin this game, which, believe it or not, is a huge Debbie Downer for me. But we're going to have to deal with it. I think that's the way the rest of this game is going to play out. Don't like Bishop. I know how strong Bishop is. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Um, but this is the way to go. I can't not do this. The only thing that might make things more interesting. Oh, man. I pulled Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is a little bit a little bit crazy. And you know what? I don't necessarily need to move left and destroy Fist Tower. I can move right and use Oscorp. Oscorp. Doctor Strange will use Oscorp to his advantage. Hmm. That might be the play. That might be the play. The old Doc. This is pretty solid. So do I make that my turn six play? I think I do. Because I want to lock up Oscorp. He can't play cards here. Do I think this guy is going to play three cards right now at Oscorp? Three of them. I don't think he's going to. Three of them. If he does, I'm in a lot of trouble. But I don't think he's going to. And if I pull this off, next turn I can put Craven there, Strange there, move it there. Craven gets the buff. Multiple man does his thing, and he leaves a copy at the kiln. Pretty huge. Oh, but we won't win it. Bishop will keep getting stronger. 
that won't win it for us. Nope, 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 nope. Come back. That won't be enough for a win. We do this, and maybe it's enough for a win. Oh shit, out of time. All right, well, we did it. Jubilee, what is she gonna pull? Leech, oh, what? Leech just took away everyone's powers. That's insane. These cards all literally do nothing now, but they have their power at least. <sighs> I've won Fisk's Tower, that's for sure. I need to win Oscorp, and he could play a lot of cards to make me not win it. My cards literally have zero special abilities. What a pull. Jubilee pulls a random card out of his deck, and that's what he got. Three, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, the hit over. I think that's what I have to do. Iron Fist, and then I literally pick my biggest creature, and I hit it over because the three they'll get will put them up to nine. Because he can play three things here, right? But that's it. Bishop will get plus three, so he'll be at nine. There'll be seven here, but then this is eight, nine, ten. We win the kiln, we win Fisk Tower. If he plays a card that buffs everything, I'm fucked and there was never a way to win it. But we already snapped back. Let's go. Big brain plays. What did he just do? Oh my God, he moved Nightcrawler. I forgot he could still move Nightcrawler. We might still win it. Uh, Wolverine's not enough. Wolverine's too weak. Why wouldn't you play a bigger card there? Oh my God, is Wolverine too many cards though? Oh my god, we still want it! We want it with fucking zero power! Oh my god! Why would you play a card that wouldn't give you the positive, bro? Oh my god, I'll give you the fist pound, dude, but why would you do that to yourself? Oh man. Whew! I had a heart attack. So all the things I planned didn't work, but we still won. Whew! Whew -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is the big brain right here. Oh man, I gotta. I'm sorry. I'm giving myself a pat on the brat, on pat on the back for that one. Whew. Oh man. Oh man. I smacked my hands too hard together. I heard him. I heard him on my wedding ring. Oh my god. Whew. I'm putting that one on the YouTube's baby. All right, we got missions yet? Eight minutes till more missions. All right. So until then, um, we got a few minutes here. Let's see if we can uh, add anything to our discard deck. Maybe upgrade some cards. Let's see what we can upgrade. Let's upgrade our biggest cards. Show you what upgrading is all about. So, like, right here, like, basic whatever card, right? Abomination. I don't play this card a lot. I can upgrade it because I have 10 boosters. That's these fancy-looking green things. And I have 100 credits. And I will go up two collection levels. Collection levels are how you get cards. I'm going to do this card. Where is it? I said I could do it before. Where'd Kazar go? Am I blind? Whatever, fuck him. I'm going to do Squirrel Girl, lad. For 500 bucks and 50 boosters, I get 10 collection levels. This game is super free 99, my friend. And you can't even buy boosters to help yourself. You can buy other things that kind of help you, but the gameplay loop is the gameplay loop. Um, so we're going to take a break. I'm going to run some ads because they're going to run anyway, because that's the way Twitch works right now. It It's not so much pay to win. You can only level up cards if you have the boosters and the credits, but you kind of have to have the credits and like you kind of pay money for the credits if you have to, but you can earn a lot of free of them too. Ads are gross, dude. I wish I didn't have to run them, but that's what Twitch makes you do now. Um, by the way, hey, Yo-Yo Ninja, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping by. 
Um, but I'm going to run those, get them out of the way, because they're going to automatically run in two minutes anyway. And uh, what was the other thing I had to say? Oh, yeah, dude. You go for it, man. I watched that record run, by the way. That shit was insane. Um, and if you buy the season pass, you get Black Panther, and that's the only way to get the Black Panther card. I am speed. <laughs> nice, man. All right. See you guys in a little bit. BRB. Ooh, we should be back, and we are. What's up, everybody? All right, so like I said, we're going to cash in on this squirrel girl here. Bink. Infinity. Infinity. Oh, wow. Ten levels. Boom, baby. So, yeah, you get boosters, which are just little things that let you power up the cards or change the cards. Credits, which you also need to change the cards. And then mystery card. So the way cards work in this, there's three different pools of cards. Um, I don't know the numbers. You can look up the numbers online, but like one number one level to 200 is a certain set of cards. And everybody will get the cards in that set as long as they level up. The only difference that happens is the order in what you might get them. Like, I might get a Spectrum before you get Spectrum. That's the random part. But from 1 to 200, me and everybody else who's in 1 to 200 will be playing with the same cards. Nobody will have a card that's like one of the 400 level cards. They might get Spectrum before me, but as long as I keep playing, I'll get Spectrum too. Um, It's 1 to 200, then it's like 201 to 420, and then there's the level I'm at, which is like 420 to infinite. And that's how they're going to add new cards and stuff as the game moves along. Um, but you can also see, like, if I scroll, can I scroll down? If I go all the way down here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So down here, oh, even further down, when you first start, it's only like one level or two levels to get to the next level, right? At the level I'm at, I wish you could use the scroll wheel for this. You can't. You just got to, like, pull it and then, like, let it roll for a little bit. <laughs> the scroll wheel is actually slower somehow. The level I'm at, it's actually four levels to get up to the next area. Sabretooth, finally. I've been looking for this guy. So we actually might make a destroy deck right now. This is one of the pieces I needed to make a really good destroy deck. Uh, the other thing, after you get a card to infinity... You can actually do this, boom, and now you have pretty art for it. And you can level up this card next as well. Um, the only other one I had, and I don't know where it is now, but I thought it was upgradable. There it is, Kazar. He's the next big one I have, 500. We need 80 more bucks. And let's see, did the missions hit yet or no? Hey, they did hit. They actually like just hit. Holy shit, like this minute. So play four cost cards, play six cost cards, make your opponent retreat. That is probably one of the worst challenges I've ever seen in my life. Because how can I make someone retreat? What? That really sucks. Um, hopefully I get it because like, you need to get these things to get points. I've never seen this challenge before. This is total fucking trash and terrible. Um, anyway, the other ones are pretty easy, though. So cool. Uh, we also get I think it's every every day you get free gold or free credits. I always think it's gold. Boom. The worst is right. Sailor Scout 50 free credits. That's cool. There's also like cards that they're like, hey, you don't have boosters, but you can do a fast upgrade on these ones. Usually I have boosters. We're fine. But uh, let's take a look at making a destroy deck. First thing we're going to do is filter. Hold on. There's a cat meowing. Who is it? What's up, Artemis? So first thing we're going to do is go destroy filter. So this is what we got. Um, as always, I love Electra. I want Electra in the deck. So she's there. Uh, Deathlock. So Deathlock kills everything at his location. Um, he's a 3-5, so he's pretty powerful for pretty cheap. We're going to throw him in. 
Wolverine discarded or destroyed, he gets played at a random location. Amazing. Nothing bad about that. Wolverine's in. Bucky, we know what he does. Winter Soldier gets called out. Sabretooth, who I finally got. When, is when he's destroyed, goes back to your hand and he costs zero. Absolutely. Um, Carnage, kills things, gets plus two for each thing he kills. Nova, give plus one to everybody on the board. Um... Armor is here because cards can't be destroyed. Killmonger is pretty devastating, but also pretty worthless if you're playing against the wrong type of deck. Excuse me, he destroys all one-cost cards, including yours. Um, my only one-cost would be Nova, and I want him to die, right? Um, we're going to toss him in for now. Colossus is something that can't die, so it's like, hey, even if I play him somewhere, he can still live. Not really. I got four spots left. Let's see what I can choose from regular cards and uh, go from there. So I don't want a lot of one cost because they'll just die, right? Uh, I am a sucker for themes, though. So I will throw in uh, Yondu. What order are my cards in right now? Uh, we want to go by energy close. Yandu, even though he's a one cost, he's gonna freaking destroy a card for me. And then if I kill him by accident, I don't care. I kill him by accident. So we're putting in Yandu. Uh, and then from here, we need some heavy hitters, right? I have no four cost, no five cost, no six cost. Um, I need things that are gonna make me win. Uh, I might play Infinaut in this deck, even though I kind of hate it. Might. I might. Um, hmm. Who else is good here? Hobgoblin I always want to put in a deck. Shang-Chi to destroy bigger things. That'd be a great play. Let's do him. Once again, fits on theme. Uh... I don't know how I handle the curve here. Jubilee wouldn't be a good fit. This is tough. I think we're new Spider Woman. And I'm never clearing out a location, so that doesn't make sense to have Warpath. He gains strength from empty locations. I'm Goblin. And I have no six costs then. But I think I'm fine with that. I don't think this is like a I'm gonna play a giant card at the end six cost deck. I think this is and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to run this like I run my my little deck. I wanna play my destroy stuff at the end. I wanna build it, I wanna have it ready, and then like just sit and wait. And if they play something I gotta kill and I can kill it with Killmonger, I'll go for it. Um could be good, could be bad. Let's let's mess around with it. Let's see what happens. We're not even going to name it yet. When it's this young and we're not sure if it's going to work or not, maybe I can get to it if the game lets me. Doesn't seem to want to let me see that deck. Do I have to do like a big pull? All right. All right, game. Come on. I really want to play that deck. Can I do it with the arrows? Nope. Oh, boy. Hey, deck six. We got it. Alright, destroy deck. Trial run. Let's see what we got. Killmonger, off rip. Yondu, ruining people's day. Let's go. Let's get that big card that they definitely don't want destroyed. Let's go. Ooh, Sunspot. Wolfsbane is a good card. They probably missed that one. 
See you later. All right, we're starting to see destroy stuff. So this is nice where like I can play Atlantis and like, oh, Wolverine is so big and scary here because he gets plus five. So that's what Atlantis does, right? And then later on, I kill everything there with Carnage. Oh, this, this is problem. She just gave every card in the deck plus one power. Don't like that. Whoa, never seen this before. When you play a card here, double its power. That's game changing. It's too much. Too much game changing. By the way, Killmonger could totally kill Sunspot. That's going to be great to pull off later. Um, I hate this. I really, really do. Um, I guess we're going to go Killmonger there for now. And double this man's power to 10 on turn 3. That seems pretty freaking crazy. Not much of a buff for her. It doesn't buff her every time or anything like that. So, whatever. Don't really care. Um, time to pop this. Is that early? I'll throw Bucky there, too, and then I'll just kill everybody. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So he's going to keep buffing this Angela for sure. Jessica Jones is a good one because now she's going to get plus four power on top of that. Damn, that's a good one. So here, what just happened? Oh, you bitch. This fucking dimension just ruined me. That's fine. We'll be fine. Um, Carnage is going to go here. Actually, no. Ooh. Carnage first. I can't even afford Killmonger because everything costs one more. I hate this card, man. This card screws me up so much in life and everything. Um, that's gonna be an end that turn. So the other scary thing is here, he didn't play anything on turn five. We know what that means. That means he has an infinite in hand. Um, what does it mean for me? So there's a few... Ooh, Shang-Chi just entered something very crucial as well. So there's a few things here. He's pretty strong at Dream Dimension. He's pretty strong at the lab. If he plays it here, it's going to be worth 40. But does he really need to clobber this side that much? I don't think so. I think he's going to go middle. And if I play Shang-Chi and he goes first, which he should because he's winning, Shang-Chi will kill the Infinite. Um, But we'll only win this part, and we won't win the others. So that's not worth it either. It's tough. I'm going to be screwed here. I'm going to play it out because he hasn't snapped. But I think he's throwing Infinite here. I can win this, but I can't win this. You know what? I can do that there, too. Either way, it doesn't help me with the other stuff, though. Let's see what happens. Wow. I never... Oh my god, it did minus 16. That's still not enough. I never would have guessed that he was going to play Infinite there. He was already so overpowered there. I gave the guy too much credit. Deck worked pretty good, though. I had a lot of outs there. I just guessed wrong. Make your opponent retreat. Shut the fuck up. What a stupid mission. I, I just hit cancel because I was angry about that. I got to reconnect. What a stupid mission. Please retreat for me, guy. What? what it's so dumb. <laughs> Warping, nice. Agent 13, he gets a random card. Good old Bucky Barnes. Scorpion. Oh, 
this when the new thing hit is it shuri's lab is the popular location is that what's happening right now because there's no way i just got these two games in a row <sighs> really getting you can tell i'm getting, getting heated right you see the heat you see the heat rising off me right now unbelievable Double power at Shuri's lab. Stupid. What a dumb location, man. If I have to put up with this for the rest of the night, man, oh man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. All right, Electra's going to kill that. And we're going to pop all these guys. And now he's snapping. Now I'm snapping. Unbelievable. Oh my god, the devil dinosaur he's gonna play there is gonna be so friggin' huge. Actually, he's gonna play one here. Hmm. I think he plays nothing right here on Shuri's lab. I think this is the turn he takes a break and he throws Devil Dinosaur here. And we're going to try to crush Shuri's lab with Hobgoblin. All right, you played it over there. Fine by me. We still got the crush on the lab. So now it's at zero and we can pretty much play whatever we want. And hopefully this guy retreats even. Because now the vault is locked. The retreat, baby! We got it! Mm, yes! The crowd goes wild. What I'm talking about. You mean it's stupid. Make your opponent retreat. And look, what did I tell you? I'm so tired of predicting everything in this game. The featured location. What? It's a freaking... What day of the week is it? It's a Tuesday. Are you doing featured locations on Tuesdays? I hate this game on the computer. It doesn't let me stay on this thing unless I hold it with the mouse, Twitch World. Double the power, double the fun. It is not double the fun. It is not. Unless I get to keep playing Hobgoblin there. But no. All right. Anyway, we got the friggin' mission we needed. What's the other ones we have? I haven't played any four cost or six cost cards. I actually just made a deck with no six cost cards. That's what this deck is, isn't it? I went to the wrong place to look at decks, by the way. It has one four cost card and no six cost cards. <laughs> All right, so for the good of finishing these missions, we need to play a different deck. Uh, what does what does move have? No four cost, but it has a six cost. All right, so. So here's the other thing. Remember I showed you that deck in the beginning and I was like, hey, we'll talk more about decks like this later. So I will make a deck just to get missions done. And so for this one, I have four cost and six cost things I need to play. We're just going to pick a bunch of four cost cards. I actually take Kazar out because he doesn't do anything. On the more Warpath, why not? And one more four cost. What else do we got? Oh, Jubilee, of course. And Sandman. Yeah, it's fun. Um, and then we pick a bunch of six cost cards. So, you know, Infinite, Hulk, uh, Apocalypse, Heimdall, and Odin. Why not? Actually, no, not Odin. America Chavez, because you always turn her on six. That's her That's her power. You, you draw her. Okay, so cool. Deck seven. Um, the next most difficult thing is going to be for me to choose deck seven. Come on. Can I choose it? There's no way for me to do this, chat. My mouse is on my other monitor right now, and it just fires right back. I want to play seven. <laughs> Are you just fucking for real? I can't pick the deck I want to play. Can I scroll wheel? Look, even with the scroll wheel, it bounces. 
I can't freaking move it. That's hilarious. Can I like and pick up my mouse and move it or something? Can I right click to not move it? Maybe I can go around the back way. No, this is amazing. I can't pick the seventh deck. This is ridiculous. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try to uh, try a little trick here. Let's just create an eighth deck. All right. Now there's eight decks. Oh, I can click on seven now, I think. Hey, <laughs> we'll cheat to find out a way. Don't worry about it. We'll make it work. Need some chapstick. All right, remember, we're not trying to win with this deck at all. We're just trying to complete missions. This is the type of stuff you do when you don't really care about your rank. I'm not super excited about my rank right now. If you don't cheat, you ain't trying. That's it, my man. That is it. Um, so yeah, we're just we're just trying to finish the missions to get the credits, to buy more stuff, to get better cards, to make better decks, and then we'll play for real. So we're gonna get these done real quick. Oh man, extra power. So we'll play Jubilee here. She's gonna give us an extra minion there, which is pretty cool. Ooh, I thought the missile. Domino. Oh, Apocalypse, nice. So the thing with Mojo World, and you're like, Matt, why does it say 109 power? Whoever has the most cards here gets plus 100 power on that location. Pretty ridiculous. Um, do I really want to go for like that type of stuff? I could try to actually win this with Infinite. And like you know be like super cool um he's also no i have the hulk as well yeah i can do whatever i want here not worry about that this is fun though this is actually oh no i guess he could still no there's not enough turns so sandman this is actually a total fuck move man sandman only lets you play one card a turn there are only three turns left including this one so it's literally impossible for this person. Oh, no, they just no, it's impossible. It's literally impossible for this person to play four cards here. They can't no matter what. So that's really funny. <laughs> that's that's like really fucked. Um, this is turn five. What did this do? Makes everything cost four. Wow. For a turn. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to play anything. Um, we're just going to let it sit and we'll hit and turn here. Because next turn we play Infinite and uh, we win that location and we win by BS cards. This person also doesn't know how to play because Jubilee couldn't pull a card there because it's full. Um, so they don't know how to play the game. We've officially won easily. They snapped in the beginning, so I'm going to snap now. We're going to win eight cubes unless there's some card I don't know about. We easily won eight cubes here. Um, I don't know if this person's okay. If anybody knows who Nolan is, send somebody to their house because they're not feeling well. Um, but they did really bad there. Um, and we won. And this was a deck I made up of just fucking big cost cards. So it's pretty ridiculous. That's a win, though. Oh, one more six cost card. I should just play with my BS deck, right? A deck that I just made up that I threw random cards in just won a match. Inqueror's Workshop. It's not going to do anything to me. I, my shit costs too much. Oh, you just snapped. Oh, my God. Excuse me. I don't care. Eat me in. Ooh, X Mansion. Random card there for each player. Pretty cool. Monster Island. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, another end turn, fortunately. Heimdall is going to be our sixth play, baby. Who'd we get at the mansion? Gambit? What the fuck does he do? 
Discard a card, destroy a random enemy card. Wow. Um, you can't destroy it. You just fucked over yourself. What the fuck does this animal do? Remove the abilities on the next card you play. That kind of sucks, and I would never want to do that. Um, at least with any of the cards I have. Um, I was going to try to do cool shit here, but I can't. Remove the abilities on the next card I play. I wish I had a card with bad abilities, but I don't. Do, 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 do. Um, what do I do here? We'll play Warpath. Yeah, and you fucking zeroed him. Thanks, Zero. Mr. Fantastic pumps up both sides. All right, so from here, um, as much as I would like to use Enchantress and like make both these do nothing, I think the right play is playing Jubilee. If I'm trying to win with these cards, um, I'm not going to play Infinite and do nothing here. I want to see what Jubilee grabs out of the pile here. Jubilee! Apoc Damn, she grabbed Apocalypse two games in a row. We might actually win this, by the way. Um, if he doesn't play stuff at Tinkerer's Workshop, we're going to move everything there. We're going to have four cards here. Four cards will actually ruin Lizard. He'll get minus three power because we have four cards there. And uh, yeah, these are actually pretty big cards to move here. Um, if he's betting here, it's a big mistake. Uh... I'll let him lose the stuff that he... Well, let's see if he quits, right? Let's see if he runs. Fuck it. We just won an eight before this, right? By totally messing around. So let's see if we can win another one. There he is. That's not that great. And it doesn't matter because we're not playing for that area anyway. I'm playing for the other areas. And I just beat you. All I did was pick random cards. The other decks, I spent, you know, brain power and time. And I was like, let's make these decks with themes that will work. And they'll work together, all the intricate pieces. I put this together and picked random four cost and six cost cards to finish missions for the day. And I'm undefeated so far. We're going to keep rolling with it, by the way. We're going to see how long we can go undefeated with the made up deck. We, 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 we beat all the missions. We beat all the missions for today. We're going to collect them after we lose with this deck. Apparently, it's unstoppable for two matches now. Two matches, unstoppable. Made up deck for fun with no card that's less than four. Here we go. Oh, my God. Dark Dimension. That's fun. Cards here are not revealed until the game ends. So you play like freaking crazy shit and it just ends up murdering everybody. It's a good time. Nova. Oh, my God. When he dies, he's going to power up everyone. Oh, here we go. Shuri's lab. So does that mean my ongoing is plus five power if this is your card here? But when you play a card here, double its power. So no more is going to be 15. It's not like a billion. Like I want it to be in my head. It's only 15. What do you got? Oh, little little angel. Ooh, on reveal effects do not happen. You're crazy. That's pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. If I was playing a deck I actually cared about, that would kind of piss me off. But uh, luckily, I don't give two shits about it at all. Ooh, spooky Dark Dimension card. All right, so we got our first four cost card we're going to play. Now, if I want to play a card here and then skip my next turn and throw Infinite on Dark Dimension, it has to be a really good card. So we're going to go... I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Then we can go into more over here. And I expect them to be like, oh, no big deal. I'm going to kill Nova anyway. And then I win nowhere. And then I'm just going to 
friggin' drop 20 power right here. Oh, he's gonna go for a big devil dinosaur. He's going big devil dinosaur. Ooh, this is such a good one to make him only play one card. That's only on the last turn, right? Oh, I can't do anything this turn. I can't do anything this turn. Infinite Odd, if you played a card last turn, you can't play this. All right, I can't do anything. We just gotta let this roll. Whatever he does here, we let it roll. Oh, I'm so cool. I have the biggest devil dinosaur ever. So he played this on turn three. Turn three. It can't be devil dinosaur. He can play something else there. But I don't know if he will. We're dropping the 20, boy. Let's see what happens. We literally only played two cards this whole match. Two cards the whole match. Two cards. And we're gambling on it. We're going to snap it. We're going to snap it. We're going to put another four cubes on. Another four cubes. Completely random deck. Just threw shit together that cost four and six to beat missions. Here we go. What's this kid going to do? He was so excited about Shuri's lab. What do you got? Deathlock destroys cards. He played another devil dinosaur. It's equal to what I have. He wins because he has more points in the middle. Damn. Almost. Almost. Very close. Hey, yo, my boy. All right. More importantly, we finished our missions. Let's cash them in. Bink, bonk, boop. All right. That gave us a whole bunch of crap. We're going to go here. We're going to destroy this deck because, like we said, we made it for fun. Trash can. Delete deck. Do it. What is this? Oh, this is the one I just made so I can see my other deck. Delete deck. Do it. All right. And I should have enough now to do Kazar. Beautiful. All right, stream. Give me one second. I'm going to leave it right here. I'll be right back. One second. Actually, no, I'll put you on the BRB screen. What am I thinking? That's why I got the screen for, right? Let's go, Artemis. What's up, Twitch World? We're back, right? Let me check. Uh, yep, we're back. All right, cool. Boom. Spend it. Infinity. Infinity. All righty. Ten more, baby. Another card. More credits. Let's see what we get. Good card. Good card. Good card. Good card. Gambler. The RNG god of gambling. Please give me a good card here. Thank you. Trash. Trash. I don't want this card at all. Trash. I hate it. I don't think it belongs in move decks. People like it in move decks. Trash. I always beat Cloak. Trash. Trash. Wish I could throw it away. Total trash. Total trash. Cloak, I won't put him in a move deck on principle. He'll never be in my move deck. You see me playing cloak, it's a lie. So, I mean, that's pretty much Marvel Snap. Um, I'm going to keep streaming for like probably another 20 minutes or so. But you do the missions when they come up.
missions. So there's two every eight hours. And then this one, these ones are every day. And then they have them for a bunch of weeks in the season. Um, I can't believe I didn't level up in the battle pass. They made battle pass way harder this time. Meekins, you're right if you're watching. Um, but yeah, man, this is just insane trying to level up this thing. Um, you can pay $10 to unlock it all, but I'm not doing that. You know, this is like a special variant for her. You know, all this cool stuff in the season pass. But uh, we're ranked 30. We were ranked 60 last season, which was the first season. They drop you three tiers. They drop you. They drop you 30 levels. Pretty friggin' insane. I play a lot of card games and things with battle passes and stuff. Three tiers is a lot, man. 30 levels. Damn. Um, but uh, let's keep messing around with uh, destroy deck. Let's see how it does. There's probably a few other cards I like in here that I don't even know which ones exist yet. Dude's name is Top Shelf Liquor. Very nice. I don't believe you. And then he pointed at me. Okay, this gentleman has done a lot of things. T called me a liar. Used Spider-Man to point at me and then snapped. So we killed his vulture off the bat. Now I know he's playing a move deck. Crimson Cosmos is going to fuck his move deck because he can't play certain things there. Um, Wakanda kind of fucks me because things can't be destroyed here. So it looks like we only have one place where we can destroy things right now. This is probably going to be Shuri's Lab, by the way, if Shuri's Lab is the, the land of the day. Hey, what do you know? Predicted the future again. Um, a really interesting interaction will be create the Winter Soldier in its place. So I don't think that counts as playing him again. But if it does play him again, the Winter Soldier will actually be 12 and not six. Very interesting. Let's see what happens. Waiting on this guy. Might be doing some big thinking. Or, you know, he's just a troll who wants to double up right away and try to scare people away. Let's see. Oh, all the cards on the Do Not Destroy area. Here we go. Big Bucky, Big Bucky. Ah, he does not get doubled. Okay. Ooh, I play Cloak. So this was so dumb. I can move stuff there, but he can't. He's just playing things for the first time. That Cloak was worthless. This is why you don't play Cloak. Um, Is there anything I want to play here? He's not one cost right now. Uh, I'm going to stick with sitting on Shuri's lab. Um, I'll play a Wolverine here just to play him. But it doesn't fuck anything for me. Now this guy's trying to like, oh, I'm losing now. That's fine. Um, he didn't get to power up the multiple man. Shuri's lab happens after the hit, which is pretty funny, and it doesn't happen for the original. That's crazy. Um, I think we ruin his day here. And if he does play Heimdall, it'll either stay there if he plays Heimdall here, or it'll ruin his day over here. So I think Hobgoblin Center is a pretty good play. I kind of want to play him at Shuri's lab because I just remember the double thing. I think that's insane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually backtrack backtrack a little bit, and I'll uh, play this on Shuri's lab. Here we go. Is that the armor? Yep, that's fine. That shouldn't count as playing it again because it shouldn't. Wow, that counts. Okay, well I'm glad we did this then. And now we look for Shang-Chi can actually destroy that multiple man, but that's not going to give us the game. 
I think he'll get revealed first, so I can't... I mean, I can play him at Crimson Cosmos, but I don't think he kills anything, unfortunately. Um... Actually, I won't need to. If he goes Heimdall, he's going to shift everything, but he'll still get a big one here. I mean, this is actually my only play on top of everything else. You know, I really don't have anything else. And we toss this here. Let's see what we get. I need this to reveal. See, see how he has that border? I think that means this goes first, and I don't want it to go first. I want it to go later. I don't want it to trigger at all. I hope he goes first. He's winning two locations. He should go first. So let's see what happens. Good. There's the shift. We're still winning here. We kill this multiple man. And we should still have that locked up with just Shang-Chi. Oh, but the double power. Oh, he doubled him. Oh, I forgot Heimdall would be worth 16 because of the double power. Oh, that location's ridiculous right now, man. That is really good. Oh, well. Oh, uh, let's try Little again. I think Little will actually be pretty good with the double power. We'll get some crazy numbers. Certified Carnage. Nice name. Ooh, this is always a really fun ability. When Uatu is in your hand, the Watcher, you can actually see all locations right away. So Super Flow, this one gives you one energy if you have nothing there. And then Los Diablos, which will destroy a random location. Uh, so this is, once again, this is the one cost deck. I normally would never play anything on turn one. On reveal effects happen twice at Comertage. I'm going to play Yondu and destroy two cards right now. Um, it could be two of the best cards in his deck that he needs. And he's not going to get them. Let's see it. Cloak is usually an important card for people. One less card for you to use destroy with. All right. Super flow. So now I have a dilemma. Yondu is a no-brainer. I have to play him and destroy two cards. If I play Korg there, I can now throw two shit cards in his deck. Rocks. They cost one and they have zero power. Um, also something that could ruin his deck. Uh, he has how many more cards in deck? Five cards left in his deck. So if I put this in there, that will be around 30% of his cards will be rocks. That's pretty devastating. Um, so we're going to go for it. We also haven't drawn anything else to play with, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, what are these, though? It might be fucking us. Let's see. Wolverine does nothing and Nova does nothing. So he played two cards there just to make sure he still had the super flow power. And he's going to do Carnage and blow it up, I guess. That's cool and all, but it doesn't win you the match at all. Blade discards a card. Discarded a rock. Wow, lucky. Um, He probably wanted to discard something, though. And no more extra mana for us. Cool, I'm down with that. Uh, we save Electra for the game-winning kill. If there is one. Um, We sit here. We don't do anything. Sentinel, okay. Ah, uh, Bishop. I wish I could play him, but Blue Marvel is more valuable right now. We might play Bishop next turn, though. So he also played Blue Marvel. Look at you. Right, the more important thing is I have better cards than him, I think. So I think we actually go with Bishop in the 3-1 cost, and then we're playing everything. Um, I think he's going to destroy things over here, so these guys can kind of carry on their own. Um, I think this side needs... Oh, we're actually going to kill somebody over here, too.
He's gonna kill these two. He's gonna, right? All right, so here we go. We do this. We do this. We do this. We do this. Bishop gets buffed by everything. Rocket Raccoon gets extra points, double extra points, because he's going to play something here. She kills one of these. Uatu stays and gets the buffs. That's the plan. Here we go. We called it. He killed one. Killed two. That's fine. We're going to do the same thing. We'll deal with that. Uh, we're not going to do the same thing because he played Carnage. Where does... All right, that's fine. That's actually where we wanted him to go. So he has 10. One. Double buff. Because it's on reveal. That's, that's enough right there to tie. We kill... All right. And then we reveal. And we're golden. Good game, bro. Easy peasy. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. Kind of had me worried with the Electra. That was a good Electra play. She killed two things there. And I would have been pissed if I played Electra because Carnage killed everything and she would have did nothing. So we definitely picked the right move there. Nice. It's always nice when everything works out, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Alrighty. Alright, so we got the perfect setup so far. We want Angela in hand to play on turn two. There's Blue Marvel looking good. Um, will I play Yondu? Yes, I will. Where will I play him is the question. Um, actually, I don't think... No, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll play Angela, and then we'll play Yondu turn three. Um, the monster actually kind of fucks up my gameplay, because I want to play all my cards in one area. So I actually might just leave that area, and we'll lose it and win everything else. Angela goes here, because the random card we get here will not power her up. So it'll actually hurt her. Oh, all right. Position swap. Nothing else. Doesn't matter. We're fine. Um, we will still play Yondu and we'll play him here. Punisher is actually a card we haven't seen today. Uh, he gets plus one power for each opposing card at the location. Pretty cool. Um, I didn't get to see what Yondu destroyed because I was too busy explaining Punisher. Um, wow, this is a worthless card. It does nothing. What is this? Cards you play here are not revealed until the game ends. That can be a little scary. Not gonna lie. Um, turn four, we sit. We got nothing to play, unfortunately. Blue Marvel will go here, turn five. And then we fill up. Um, we definitely want four here, because that's gonna make Lizard weaker. It'll make Punisher stronger, but whatever. Um, if we have enough to fill this stuff and play one thing here, I'd love to kill that Ant-Man. We'll see what happens. Oh, man, he's super stacking over there. I'm glad we said that we're going to give away Monster Island. Ooh, Claw gives plus six power to the location to his right. Amazing play for him to pull that out with Jubilee. That was one hell of a move. All right, we got the Ant-Man, so that's good. We needed that. Um, hmm. Do I try to steal the 18 now? I think that's the better play. I still go to win X Mansion, but I'm not playing the middle anymore. I'm playing the left. He's cemented in. He can't change it. We already have a nine to meet halfway. And uh, I think Electra Ant-Man is the way to go over there. And we'll win that easy. And they're snapping because they're feeling good. So let's see what happens. Blue Marvel. You should feel good. That's one hell of a play. Um, remember, we're gonna kill this Ant-Man. So let's do the math real quick. 10, 12, 5. That makes 17. We already have 13, and we're gonna play two cards here. That's four, That's 14, 15. And this is gonna be a hell of a lot more because of all the buffs he has. Um, we should, we're gonna win that. 
This is what? Plus three, so four, five. He's gonna be five. So five and two is seven. Seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This drops below twenty, and it's locked. He can't play anything there. Um, here. What is the best? I need four things here, because that's gonna be the best thing. So we play Korg, and we play Owatu, because that's gonna make the lizard weaker. It's gonna give him plus two, but it's gonna give him minus three. And that's way better. And it's going to give her plus four. I know that's a lot of numbers, but I think we got it wrapped up. And we just throw Squirrel Girl there because she's awesome. Yep, let's do it. I don't know if it's a definite win over here, especially with what he might play there. Um, I think he's obviously given this up or he might throw some stuff here. If he throws stuff here, we definitely win this. I think. We'll see. Nope, not looking good for him. There's the toss. Bang. See you later, Ant-Man. My Ant-Man, the true Scott Lang. We win it. Toss that. Buff. Toss that. The buff. And Squirrel Girl for show. What do you got in the middle, bro? Ooh, that might give it to him. Mm, plus two to all ongoing cards. Damn. Spectrum play. I didn't see that happen. I did not call that one. Nicely done. Damn. Just by two. I played Kazar. Would that have been different? I don't think so. Because Squirrel Girl still would have gave me the one over there. Yeah, and there's no way I could win the middle. Damn. All right. All right, Twitch world, that's going to do it for me. That was a good two hour stream. I appreciate everybody coming in, everybody watching. I appreciate everybody putting their eyes on here. Any followers, anybody who wants to follow. We're going to be playing games like this all the time. I appreciate anybody lurking. Yo, yo, Ninja. Thanks a lot for that, man. I'm going to stop by your stream after this. Blood Zone, I appreciate the Prime sub. That Kid Joe, Sailor Scout, Yo, yo, Ninja. And let's see what else we had here. That kid Joe a lot. Anybody else who's watching, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these for sure. Till then, peace out. Have a great day or a great night. See you later. Oh, next stream is definitely going to be God of War, by the way. I got to play God of War. Everyone in the world is going to be playing God of War tomorrow. So I'll be playing God of War tomorrow. Uh, all right. Everybody have a great night. See you later. Peace out.